Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I'm going to share with you some paper bag cards that I created. Um, I made two in the traditional paper bag card style and two in two shaker cards. So I want to quickly share with you some of the things that I used. I used these celebrated brand paper bags from Michaels in the three and a half by six and three quarter size. So these are the craft. I also used black and white paper bags. This Echo Park Hello Winter paper collection. And I distressed the edges um, of these papers with the Peacock Feathers Distress Paint. Also use this Red and White Christmas paper line from Recollections. And I did a full flip through of this paper collection in my last haul video. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link right about there so you can take a look at that. And then I distressed the edges of those papers with this uh, black soot distress paint. I also use my favorite pen, of course, this Deco Color Premium Marker in Silver. And I punch the edges of some of the papers with this EK Success Punch. Alright, I also use these die cut ornament tags from Target Dollar Spot. And these Creatology wooden Christmas trees from Michaels and all of the wooden pieces that you see were spray painted first with this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint and I get this from Home Depot and it's about three dollars and some change I know it's less than four dollars but I love using this stuff okay so let's get started this first card here um, I used a white paper bag for this one and as you can see, I added the Merry Christmas and the trees, which were glittered with Martha Stewart glitters. Uh, for the trees here, um, I, like I said, I spray painted everything silver first, but I did go, after I glittered them, I went over the trunks with the silver pen. And then I also ran that pen along the sides of the trees to kind of make it look like snow was on there. Okay, I decorate my cards pretty simply. You can really go crazy with these cards. Um, I also close the flap here, but you can leave it open and add tags and different things. Okay, so, and then here's the back, which I covered with paper. And then for the tag, I use one of my sequin bows, which I love using. And that's where I'll, I will write my message. So simple but cute. Oh, on, on this one I actually punched the sides um, or the edges of this paper bag as well. Okay, and then this one here. Um, let's see, again I just glittered the Merry Christmas after it was spray painted. I added this really pretty um, glittery rosette in red and add, this is a Recollections Center that I've had in my stash for a while. And this really pretty trim that I wrapped all the way around the card, I got that from Betsy, Betsy Hernandez. She recently gifted that to me. So thank you so much, Betsy, for sharing that with me. This trim is absolutely beautiful and worked perfect with this card. And I just love this paper collection. I hope you can see this paper is actually foiled up here. And then for the tag, I added a sequin bow. And that's where I will write my message. Okay, so that's the traditional paper bag cards. And then this is the shaker card that I made out of the paper bags. And I used a craft paper bag for this one. And I wasn't really going to do a tutorial on this. If I get enough interest, I probably will. But I'm just going to show you guys real quick how I um, put the card together. So I just take the paper bag. I do seal both sides. And then I seal this flap here. And just simply fold it in half. And adhere these two together. And then the way I do my shaker is basically the same way as I showed you guys how to do on the altered envelope cards. Same exact way. Okay. For the window of this card, 
I used this labels, I'm sorry, the Lattice Rectangles by Spellbinders. And I used the second one here to create that window. Alright. And just added a bunch of fun sequins. I really wanted to make these cards because I wanted a way to share some sequins with friends. And this paper bag shaker card was the perfect way to do it. This Tis the Season came from uh, Silver Bells Ephemera Pack. Okay, and then for the pull here, I just added a uh, glittery snowflake, and then I also added one to the back there. Okay, so then tucked in there, I did add a packet of sequins. And I used the same sequin mix that I used to make the card, but I did add a few extra sequins in there, like some of those snowflakes you see. So the recipient can make their own shaker cards using uh, this little sequin mix. So there's sequins, all kinds of sequins, and then there's also beads, seed beads mixed in there. So I thought that would be a fun way to share sequins with some crafty friends. Okay, and then there's the back. And then this card, it's pretty much the same exact thing. And you can see those pretty beads in there and sequins. Um, this tree I did not spray paint, I painted it black first and then added the black glitter and then went over the trunk with that silver pen. And for the window on this one, I use this Labels 18 Spellbinders die. And I use the third one up. Okay. And this paper, um, the holly berries were already foiled, but I just added some stickles, some red stickles to some of them. Just to kind of give a little extra something. And this good cheer sticker came from, I believe, Claws and Company um, sticker pack. And then for the tag, uh, I just used some of that Dollar Tree lace tape that I like using, and then added a little sticker right there. Okay, there's the back. And this is using a black paper bag. And then again, I just added some pretty sequins to share. So there's sequins and also seed beads in this pack. So hopefully the recipient will enjoy using them and making their own shaker cards. All right, so that is it, you guys. Um, that's my share for today. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye.